used today they call cardio, they used to call aerobics. It's because you would your body would 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 exercise in a way where you would replenish your oxygen and you can sustain that and then you can tra train it. All right. Anything that's sort of a low enough level and long, you do that aerobically. And so when you're anaerobic, you have different byproducts. And the microbes in your lower intestine, one of the byproducts is methane. Huh. And in fact, we found methane emanating from cliff faces of Mars in recent Mars studies. Really? So it makes you wonder, are there mic are there like Mars flatulence, essentially? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, that's, that's, Mars is farting. And that's what got uh, yeah. rid of the Martians. <laughs> <laughs> they they <laughs> literally farted themselves into extinction. It was not an asteroid. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> was, so the thing is, uh, you, can, you can get methane from natural causes, from, from you know geologic causes, but another one is through the action of anaerobic life. Hmm. And so it made it, uh, for a very intriguing next set of questions about how we're going to look for life on Mars and where we're going to try to find it. So, and Amazing. It, and methane is not stable. It, it wants to combine with other... So if you see it anywhere, it was freshly made because it will rapidly combine with other uh, molecules to make other, other, other compounds. So, so methane is unstable. I mean, if you saw it, it was made yesterday. Wow. You know, or, or, or in the very recent past. Just little bits of information we invoke. I know. Great, I, man. I just made some right now. <laughs> you made Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> There's also uh, uh, hydrogen sulfide is a, is another active ingredient in a lot of that. It gives the rotten egg smell. Uh -huh. So, yeah, that's a, we could do a whole chemistry show on that. But let's switch topics. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're still on Mars, but we, talk about sex in space. It's another one that the press hardly ever mentions. Sex we, is, a, is a fundamental part of human biology. And in, in, in a long journey, depending on your libido, and what you say, this will be a three-year journey. Well, three-year tour. Yes, okay. <laughs> three years. Yeah, it's like, what is your, what are your libidic tolerances, I think is what this comes down to. And picking up on my interview with Mary Rowe, she did a lot on sex and space. Let's find out. Looking towards a two to three year mission, you're going to have to send men, women. There's got to be some sort of sexual interaction, I would think. Aren't there some people that hardly ever think about sex? So maybe one of the criteria. Because sex really controls the social situation. Mike Collins, the best Right. But yes, that would solve. Because that creates a social dynamic that is unstable in right. most situations. Right. I asked some cosmonauts about this. Cosmonauts are fairly forthcoming on things, particularly after... No, it would be vodka. It was whiskey. Oh! It was whiskey. These two guys had been Alexander Levakin and Yuri Romanenko. They'd been up on Mir for six months together, and I said, well, how did you... Mir, the Russian space yes. station that predated the International yes, Space exa Station. Exactly. And I said, how did you handle libido? This is an issue. And he said, yes, Mary, people ask me this all the time. They're saying, Sasha, his nickname was Sasha. Sasha, how are you making sex in space? And he goes, of course, by hand. <laughs>